welcome to the weekly vlog it is monday i've got back from morning calls i am feeling productive and i have vowed this week i am not going to mo i say moan um i'm not going to feel miserable and i'm not going to feel down i am going to get on with it sorry i'm just um just editing my meals for the week because i didn't do it last night I kind of just KO'd, literally KO'd. Um, I actually can't remember falling asleep. But I woke up with quite a few spots. But I'm not going to moan. But I have got a massive one there. Um, so I've just put eyebrows on and a bit of... Um, a bit of blush. Um, yeah, so I've got about half an hour to spare before I go and do lunch run. So I'm just going to edit my meals for the week and get that uploaded that doesn't take long anyway and then i think i might try and just start on my weekly vlog just to get it um sorted if we haven't heard about the house by the end of lunch time then we're going to give them a ring and see what's what on that so yeah i'm gonna go and get cracking on with the editing I have got back from lunch calls and I need a peppermint tea. I have got the worst, 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 worst. Oh, I can't even speak. Oh, trap wind. Really bad trap wind. It's not even funny. It's horrible. I've been in so much pain. So mint tea is definitely needed i have pretty much edited all the weekly vlog i have got three minutes left to edit my hair looks a bit wild now but never mind i've got three minutes to edit and then put music do you know i'm on a roll today what did i tell you it's all gonna be about positivity all gonna be about positivity apart from this big ugh, on my forehead i'm gonna get my shoes on now and start walking down um down to the school i need to pick up some garlic bread because we're gonna have pasta baked tonight and then i've got some sausages out for wednesday or tomorrow i'm gonna get some bits out to do um slow cooker stew for one day and then another day i think toad in the hole or sausages and chips i'm trying to work it around i rang um the agency for the house and they've still not heard anything from the landlord so it's just one of them we've just got to wait and just wait patiently wait which is not very good we've just got in from school nip says oh, yeah. to get a few bits Trousers, £6. Dinner is on and we're just going through the Brand new Girl West Guides magazine. You're impressed, aren't you, mate? T-shirt, 50 Yeah, you've got the uniform, 67. haven't you? 67 Where's all the cute little things, the little purses and that? 17 50 seriously. There's a hoodie. Yeah, you got that one, haven't you? Here's a top and this is a full outfit. Go over to the purses and that. The purses, like all the accessories. Got quite a few cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, we've got in loads it. of owls for some reason. Because that's the brownies guide. It's the owl. I'm actually a wise owl, so I can bring lots of this. Unless he seems a bit bunged up today. There's earbuds. And you've got a water bottle. You've got a backpack that you could take for your like camping blanket. Bag. That's some really clips. cool stuff, aren't you? Clips. You said brownies, but Rose lost on the plane. Oh, yes, you are Sister Bunker. One minute, you're on top. Dinner tonight, we have got a cheese and tomato pasta bake with garlic bread and a big side salad of tomatoes and cucumbers. Kay is having dinner, hers is in the oven because she's in the bath. 
hi everyone it is half past five i'm just cooking dinner do you know doing these sausages i just grabbed a pack i had a, a pack of richmond in the freezer so i defrosted them last night to do today look how much oil is in these sausages and i've tipped the oil out once already that's not very good i'm gonna have to dra um, drain them i'm gonna have to soak them with a kitchen towel just to get some of the fat off you don't realize do you certain sausages how much fats in them but anyway i have got some great news we got the house oh, we got the house um i've been so busy today back and forth it's been pouring it down with rain and i haven't really sort of t um taken my phone out it's just been in my bag all day um, and then Scott rang me at quarter to three and said, how are you feeling? You know, the usual, hi, how are you? I said, I feel awful. I've been soaking wet. I had to put the heating on just to dry my coat. I was, I haven't been in the best of moods today. Um, and he was like, I've got some good news. And I was like, okay. And he says, we got the house. And I was like, oh my God. Honest to God, I am so happy. Um, we haven't got a date yet but the agency have said around a fortnight um obviously for their end um to finish off paperwork and that and then obviously our end to pack but i'm packing tomorrow i'm on it i am on it just gonna put my hair up because it is actually clean i washed it sunday i don't wash my hair a lot just because it is prone to pouring out so i don't like to sort of mess with it a lot but yeah i'm gonna make some energy balls while the sausages are cooking and I'll show you what they look like in a minute. There you are, that's them done. Hi guys, it's actually midnight now so I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, welcome back to Kero's Vlogs. I don't know what to say next. <laughs> Hi everyone, so it is half past five. Oh, it's got late, Bubba. Um, I've been off today and I've had... And I went dance. You had dance, but I had such a bad headache all day. Mm -hmm. Um, she told me when I got home from dance, we were just watching The Secret Life of Pets. I'm just <laughs> That's the Secret I Life of Boyroll. We love this show, yeah. So I've yeah. pretty much been in bed all day, most of the day. I had a bath. Um, dun, stop dun, it, Baba done the dishes like things like that but to be honest my head has been so bad today i've had such a bad headache i haven't stopped coughing all day either i've been pumping away at my inhaler like it's going out of fashion and it doesn't seem to be doing anything i've been having like low and strep sores to see if that will shift something if it's my throat i don't know yeah. um but it hasn't worked nothing's worked today wait have you found your inhaler yeah i found it I just, I used to have an inhaler. Yeah, Alessia's had asthma pretty much from the get-go. She had bronchitis when she was a baby baby. Um, you had a poorly chest when you was a baby. Yeah, I know. I and she used to have steroids, tablets. She was really, really poorly with it, but uh -huh. touch wood. She hasn't had it that bad since. But, yeah, so I've just pretty much been trying to breathe without feeling so breathless and coughing and yeah it's just been it's been horrible today but on the plus side we got a letter to say that we are moving on can you remember what With what day 20? the 20th of february and what else happens on the 20th of february we're gonna find out if it's a girl or boy and your battery's gonna die i know battery's flashing yeah so we are moving on the 20th of february which gives us like two and a bit weeks um to get sort of packing and we're gonna buy a new sofa and no leave wardrobes and things so just dishing up dinner we have got jacket potatoes um just been having a little conversation with alessia about babies and where babies come from um, which has been quite interesting. Are you sitting on the floor with this? Yeah. We're actually watching. Um, we're watching um, Secret Life of Four Year Old. We love this show. There's Secret Life of Four. I think it's four, five, six, and seven. Um, so we're just gonna 
sit and eat dinner. Okay, dinner, darling. Um, is there three and four? Kay's just gone up to curl her hair because it takes a long time. <coughs> but yeah, I'm gonna have some dinner now and watch some telly. Just straightened up the kitchen. Um, it's about five past eight now. Just got an apple. The kids have had some of my energy balls tonight. Kay loves them. <laughs> like, loves them. So they've gone down a tree. I'm just straightening up so I can go upstairs. <coughs> Still coughing, so I think I might have to go back to the doctors, back to the drawing board. Um, the coughing's not only um, putting a strain on my hernia, it's giving me headache and my back is just gone. So I'm going to go up and just chill out. I'm going to publish the weekly vlog. The weekly vlog's actually been uploaded since about half past one. I've just not got round to um, sorting out the thumbnail. That's my problem. That's one of my problems is leaving the thumbnails. So if everything's uploaded, I can publish it on my phone. But I've got to go back onto the laptop, upload the photos, transfer the photos through Gmail to my phone to do the it's just it's just all a ball ache so yeah I'm gonna go up now hi everyone I am seriously failing as a vlogger this week I all I can do is apologize oh do you know this week hasn't gone as I had hoped it to go hoped it to go hoped it to go I was full of so much positivity because we are getting this house and I am still so excited and kind of ready to ready to go, but this asthma is just dragging me down. <coughs> so last night um, I ended up coughing that much. I was going to ring for an ambulance. My hernia was flamed up so much. Um, I was just so worried basically anyway i calmed myself down and i managed to get about three hours sleep this morning i woke up and i still had really bad pains um around the hernia and then i started coughing again and i was coughing my eyes were streaming and um, i was crying this morning i rang the doctors for an emergency appointment i got an emergency appointment at 10 with the actual asthma nurse which was fantastic <coughs> um and she really did a good forehead check i was in there for an hour and she says i have got really bad asthma and she has prescribed a steroid pump um the only problem is when you're pregnant, steroids are obviously a no-no. Um, she said, I'm really, really wheezy. And um, basically, she wanted to put me on steroid tablets four times a day, which Alessia had bronchitis when she was little. I think I've said this at some point. If not, um, if I have, then I apologise that I'm telling you again. If not, I like to have bronchitis when she was a baby and she was on steroid tablets pretty much like through all the first couple of years of life, really. Um, <coughs> she wanted me to go on them, but there is an 80% chance that the steroids can um, pass through the placenta and affect the baby. So obviously I don't want to take steroid tablets, so we've opted for... Um, the brown inhaler and kind of use it if I am desperate desperate which I'm not going I don't it's such a tricky one because it is literally catch 22 she says if I don't control my asthma then it can harm the baby and also erupt my hernia and then I'll end up in hospital and the worst can happen um, and then if I do control it I can hurt the baby 
um, I just I, I can't win she did say though asthma is trig is always triggered by something um and she says it is 99% likely to be the black mold so fingers crossed touch wood that when we do move my asthma eases off because I really can't carry on the way I'm going I am extremely depressed and down by it. I'm in pain all the time um I'm ordering that belt that I spoke to you about was it last week or the week before um the big maternity stomach belt that sort of supports your bump but also supports hernias I'm gonna order that tonight I got a, a spacer thing she said maybe if you don't want to use the brown pump as much pump one pump in the spacer and just sit calmly and kind of breathe that in and out um, and see how that goes I also got some dry cough medicine just because I've got such a dry cough as well that <coughs> um, hopefully this will help the dryness of my throat. Alessia is so run down with a cough and a cold as well and I just thought oh god it's getting on her chest. So she's already got a blue inhaler, she has had asthma since the get-go basically but I got her some dry cough medicine and then some more paracetamol um yeah so I've been at work all day today and I've actually noticed that when I am out of the house I don't cough much I do have the odd cough because I have got a bit of a cough anyway and obviously I have got asthma um the cold weather triggers asthma heat triggers asthma um, but when I am not in the home, I'm not coughing my lungs up. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to get out of this house. I got my dad here. I miss you, Ben. I miss you, too. Yeah, I Okay. One more day and then it's the weekend. Well, that's tomorrow. Mm. If you say one more day, it feels like two days. <laughs> Time for bed. weekend for mummy as well we're just about to head off to school let's see you grab your school bag bubs it's quite a nice day today actually the sun's out it's springtime now bubs Is it? yeah spring so hopefully we Can get we a bit get more a swimming pool out in spring? well i don't think we get a swimming pool out in spring it's not that nice um yeah so we're heading off to school and work and i will see you all later we are back and ready to enjoy the weekend it is home time it is work home time it is school home time it is home time i've just ordered a very cheeky takeaway um had a bit of a busy stressful day again this week seems to be proving to be such a nightmare of a week <laughs> i think so anyway um, let me sit here and just sort out the food. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare today, to be honest. Um, we've had trouble with the house, even though we've been accepted. Um, there's just a little bit of trouble, which... 
story of my bloody life. It really is the story of my life. But um, I'm not going to go into it too much. I don't want the kids to know, just in case. Um, but yeah, so hopefully everything gets sorted. But I said to Scott, it is just our luck. Like seriously. Um, I've got some more spots going on on my forehead and I, yesterday I thought oh my spots are going I can film my lush haul over the weekend ready for next week obviously not um, they've given out snow for this weekend as well which is bloody great it's been pouring it down all afternoon like literally pouring it down it was really nice this morning really really nice and then it's just like great so I got a chicken naan chicken naan kebab and then we got a small donna naan because I really fancy donna meat do you know it's so bad isn't it donna meat who eats donna meat anymore? Donna meat? Donna, donna meat. I don't even know how to say it, but. I mean, you know what stuff's in this. Just fancy something really naughty and greasy. Hi guys, I didn't want to end this week's vlog without letting you know what had gone on this weekend and kind of watch the end thinking what the hell's happened. Basically this weekend we have had a lot of ups and downs. Um, Kay's going through a really, really tough time at the minute and... Um, yeah, it's just been one of them weekends where I thought I needed to kind of have a bit of a break and just recuperate. We've had a lot of tears, a lot of tantrums. Everything's fine, we're all okay. Um, it's just been a weekend where vlogging would have been pointless. Um, I do feel a bit guilty and this week I feel I have failed um, but at the minute as you know it's very stressful in our lives at the minute with the house and moving and trying to move and we got the house but even that's kind of like up in the air which is a long story but um, yeah my coughing has been an absolute joke this weekend as well like literally cough like literally coughing up my lungs i was coughing so bad last night i pulled all my kidneys and um, i haven't taken the steroid pump yet even though scott says i should but i'm trying to hold out a bit longer um the space is helping using the spacer with the blue inhaler it's helping yeah so I hope you've enjoyed this failure of a weekly vlog um, and I will see you next week hopefully with a big fat smile on everyone's face.